Hey everyone, it's Jenny and welcome back to my channel. This story ain't over. So today I am bringing you my final TBR for 2021. I can't believe we are already in December and I say that every single month. I can't believe we're in this month, but I honestly cannot believe it is the end of 2021 that we've made it through two years of a global pandemic and that we're still chugging along. It has been quite the year I feel like. A lot of things have happened but I'm excited for the new year to come and I'm excited for all the books that I'm hoping to read this month. So I have a pretty ambitious stack here today. I have a lot of books that I really want to get to before 2021 is over so I can include them in my year. But so far I've read 50 books for the year which is pretty dang awesome for how busy I have been all year. And I hope that you will be proud of however much you've read, regardless of the number, even if it was one, even if it was two, you are still a reader and you are awesome. So today I'm gonna walk you through a few books that I'm currently in the middle of since we are like about a week into December. And then I'm gonna walk you through the other books that I'm planning to pick up before the end of the year, especially during my winter break. I have a couple weeks off from work, so super excited to read during that time. All right, but before we get into the books that I'm gonna be reading this month, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, which as you can probably guess, is Book of the Month. So Book of the Month is a super popular, fast growing online book service for readers. And their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers find books that they'll love. I've talked about Book of the Month multiple times before, so you you guys know I love them. They are US only for those of you who are in Canada or international, but the way it works is that they vet hundreds of books and new releases each month. And from there, they curate a list of books that you can choose from each month to get in your blue book of the month box. This way you can spend more time reading and less time searching for a new book to read. Another thing I really love about book of the month is that they have a really awesome skip policy. So if ever you don't like the curated picks for that month, you can just skip that month and continue your subscription later on and you won't get charged for that skip. And finally, the best part of this entire deal is that if you use my code JOLLY this time, you can get your first box for only $5. So one new adult hardcover book for only five bucks. Five bucks, that is such a good deal. So you can grab that with my code JOLLY and sign up today for book of the month. I highly recommend it checking out this deal and jumping on it because there's very rarely a time when you can grab a new release hardcover adult book for only five bucks. So of course, you're probably wondering, what are the picks for December, Jenny? Well, let me tell you. The first one that I'm super excited for is The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. And this one seems like a lot of fun because it is a bit of a romance where two twins switch places during the holidays. The next book is Somebody's Daughter, which is a memoir by Ashley C. Ford. And this explores her life growing up as a poor black girl in Indiana and how the fact that her father was incarcerated really affected her life. The next one seems super interesting and that is Old guy dies dreaming and based on the description it says it's a tale of a status driven wedding planner grappling with her social ambitions absent mother and Puerto Rican roots all in the wake of Hurricane Maria which is just so interesting like it seems like a fictional story but also you know involves a real life element to it. The next book is A History of Wild Places by Shia Earnshaw and this seems like a mix of a thriller and a bit of the supernatural I think and it involves a man who has an unusual talent for locating missing people. The next book is another thriller and that is A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham and this involves a girl named Chloe who at age 12 a bunch of you know girls in her community went missing and her father could confess to the crime of taking them. But many, many years later, when she's about to prepare for her wedding, more girls are going missing and she's starting to wonder what's going on. And then finally, Books a Month was kind enough to send me one of their add-ons for December. And I'm so excited about this because it is The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green, which is a book that's been on my TBR for like the past few months now since it came out. And this is basically John Green's nonfiction book of essays on just humanity and what we do and the weird things that we do. And I'm really excited for this one because I just love John Green's writing. So really interested to see how it'll go. But those are all the picks for December for book of the month. You guys should definitely go check them out using the link in my description and use the code JOLLY to grab your first box for only $5, $5. Go grab it and use my link and you'll have a great time with some new adult hardcover books. Alrighty, let's get into the books that I'm hoping to read in December, starting with, of course, the Read in Color book club pick 
for the month, which is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. If you guys aren't aware, I recently started a book club where we read a book by a BIPOC author each month, and we endeavor to add a little bit of color to our lives. Each month, I also partner with a booktuber, bookstagrammer, or book influencer of some kind to join me for a live show at the beginning of the next month to discuss the pick of their month. So joining me this month is Mina from Mina Reads, who I absolutely adore. She has wonderful videos and just some great energy and I love following her on Instagram as well so you should definitely check out both her channel and Instagram. She has some great recs. She is the reason I read The Beautiful Ones by Silvia Morano Garcia and just began my love for Silvia Morano Garcia so really grateful to her and we are going to be reading The Unbroken as I said. This is a military fantasy that is set in a North African inspired setting and it follows a main character who is a soldier named Terrain and a like turn coat named Luca and the two of them are both girls and this is a bit of a sapphic romance as well and I'm just super excited for the entire concept and I've actually already started reading it and I'm only a few chapters in but I'm already loving like the writing style and the setup so really excited to see how this one's gonna go but I also think it's gonna have some really interesting discussion points to do with war and you know colonization and just so many other interesting topics. All right the next book that I'm gonna be reading in December is our book club pick for my Patreon. So if you guys don't know I have a Patreon which is basically a service where you can sign up for a monthly membership and gain access to extra and exclusive content from me and one of the things that we do is a monthly book club where my patrons get to choose which book we get to read. So the book for December is the Keeper of the Night by Kylie Lee Baker and I'm super excited for this one because the main character is half a Grim Reaper and half a Japanese Shinigami and she's torn between these two worlds and trying to find her place and along with her brother she ends up on a quest to defeat these three very powerful yokai demons. This one just seems super super interesting and I cannot wait to discuss with my patrons. We have like a cute little intimate live show together at the beginning of the next month and it's just overall a really great time. If you're interested in reading The Keeper of the Night with me then you should definitely sign up for Patreon. There's a link down below and you also get early access to a bunch of my videos and also exclusive vlogs as well. And speaking of exclusive vlogs, I am going to be doing an exclusive vlog for one of the books that I'm currently reading right now hoping to finish in December and that is All My Rage by Saba Tahir. So this is the ARC or the advanced reader copy of Saba Tahir's new book that is coming out in March. It is her new contemporary novel which I have just been so excited for ever since I heard about the concept and I just cannot wait to finish this one. I did pick it up at the end of November when I actually received it in the mail but I was kind of not in the mood for something sad and sort of heartbreaking because this one definitely is so I sort of put it off but I'm hoping to pick it up before the end of December and vlog the entire thing for my patrons on Patreon. So if you're interested in seeing that video, I would highly recommend checking out my Patreon. I'm also in the middle of two other books. One is Marriage of a Thousand Lives by S.J. Sindhu. I'm really excited about this one because it is written by a Tamil author who actually lives in Canada. She teaches at the University of Scarborough, which is like one of the other campuses of the university I went to. I went to the downtown campus. But basically this book follows a Sri Lankan Tamil woman named Lucky and she's gay and so is her husband Krishna. So the two of them are in this sort of like fake marriage to go along with the societal pressures and you know the expectations of their families and so they've ended up in sort of this marriage of convenience but the two of them are in love with other people and sort of dealing with their own things and so this really sort of delves into what it feels like to be Tamil I feel like and also just like how difficult it can be to be queer in this community. So it's very interesting so far and I'm about halfway through. There are a lot of like very relatable things but obviously not everyone's experience is always the same so there are some things that like the main character's family does different than say my family would do so it's just interesting to see those differences as well but I'm curious to see how it's gonna be by the end. It is definitely more of like a literary novel I would say so if you're planning to pick it up just go into it with that knowledge that it's not super fast paced. And then the other book that I'm currently in the middle of is Devil in the Device by Laura Beth Johnson. I finally got hold of an audiobook for this book because I actually really, really love the audiobook for the first book, Goddess in the Machine, which I've talked about multiple times. I have like a whole reading blog for it, but it's basically a YA sci-fi novel that I absolutely love the concept for. And the book itself was just really great, had some really great twists and just like a really interesting sci-fi world. So this is the second book in the final 
final book in the duology and I'm just so curious to see how everything's gonna end. So I'm planning to binge this on the audiobook before the end of the month. Alrighty, next I have two very, very anticipated releases that I had for 2021 that I haven't gotten around to yet that I really, really want to get to and finish before 2021 is over. So one of those is Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo, which I know guys, I still haven't read this and I just can't with myself right now. For those of you who don't know, this is the second book in the sequel series to Six of Crows, I would say. So it goes like the Shadow and Bone trilogy and then the Six of Crows duology and then the King of Scars duology in terms of like timeline. But the King of Scars duology actually deals with more characters from the Shadow and Bone series, but also a character from the Six of Crows duology. And so regardless, the point of the story is that I didn't really love the first book in this duology, King of Scars. So I was sort of hesitant to pick up this one. Like I do definitely want to finish the series and like know what happens, but I just wasn't like enthused about it. But a lot of people have told me that Rule of Wolves is actually a lot better than King of Scars and like a really great conclusion as well and just a fantastic book overall. So I'm excited. Like I love Lee Bardugo as a writer. I love all of her previous stuff. So I know I'm going to read this at some point. So I do want to finish it before 2021 is over. I had planned to like read it after the Shadow and Bone show had come out and then I just never ended up picking it up because it's also like a big book. I always find that big books intimidate me and I just like can't bring myself to start them. I I'm gonna definitely read this one before the end of the month because I just want to know what happens as well and like where the Grishaverse is by the end of this. Alrighty and then the next anticipated release that I'm really hoping to read before the end of December is Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. So this is the sequel to These Violent Delights which is the first book in this duology and this is the last book in the duology and I'm very very excited to see how everything ends. For those of you who don't know These Violent Delights is a bit of a Romeo and Juliet loose retelling that also involves monsters and is set in in 1920s Shanghai and involves two different gangs. So Romeo is from the White Flowers and then Juliet is from the Scarlet Gang. So it's like a Chinese gang and a Russian gang in Shanghai in the 1920s. And the vibes are just so amazing. And I just loved how cutthroat the characters were, but also I loved a lot of the side characters. And there's like a bit of a mystery with a plague going on in the city and a monster running amok in the city and overall just a really interesting and really well written book as well. And so Our Violet Ends is the second book in the duology and sort of wraps up the series. So I'm really curious to see how it's going to go. I've heard that it was a very satisfying ending and that it was really well written as the first one. So I'm excited to see what I'm going to think of it. Okay, I lied. I feel like the rest of the books on this list are also anticipated releases that I had for this year and that I just want to finish before 2021 is over. So the next one is The Chariot at Dusk by Swati Tirdala. This is the third book in the Tiger at Midnight series, which is a YA fantasy series that is inspired by ancient India. And it follows two different main characters, a soldier and an assassin. And it involves them falling in love, but they're both from like opposing countries. And it's just fantastic. Overall, I absolutely loved the first book. The second book was a little bit of a letdown for me because I wasn't as interested in the politics that was going on, but I do think the third book is going to be better and I'm excited to see how this trilogy ends because I absolutely love the characters in this series. Like they are some of my favorite ones, Kunal and Isha, just the cutest couple on planet and also just like their dynamic, like sort of the grumpy muffin boy and then sort of the cutthroat charming girl. Such great vibes love them together and so curious to see how it's going to end. The next book that I'm hoping to pick up is The Secret Keeper of Jaipur by Alka Joshi and this is actually the companion novel to The Henna Artist. I read it sometime earlier, I think this year, and I absolutely loved it. It follows a young woman who is fleeing an abusive marriage and she goes to live in Jaipur and this is set in the 1950s and she becomes a henna artist for the wealthy women in Jaipur and, you know, learns all of their secrets. But when her younger sister sort of pops up from her old life and needs to be taken care of, the main character, Lakshmi, is sort of forced to take care of someone in a way that she hasn't had to in a very long time. She's been on her own and, you know, fending for herself for a very long time. So it was a very interesting sort of historical fiction. And this book is the companion to it. So it follows a different character, sort of a side character from the first book. His name is Malik and it is also set in Jaipur and sort of involves his love story, I think as well. And I'm so curious to see how this one is gonna go because I just loved Malik as a character. He's such a cutie. He's like a little kid in the first book. Like he's probably 
a preteen and so in this book he's much older. I think he's in like his 20s so I'm curious to see also him older. I think I have the audiobook for this from Scribd so I'm probably going to be listening to that. Alrighty the final book on this very very ambitious TBR for the end of the year for December is The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. So I've been meaning to pick this book up basically all year. I think it came out in like June or something and I was so excited about it. This is like the Illumicrate edition I think and I also bought like the paperback edition that's available in Canada and I was just so excited to read it and then I kind of took a look at how big this book was and then like was totally intimidated and never got around to reading it. But this is basically an epic fantasy and a bit of a political fantasy as well with an Indian inspired setting and it follows two different main characters Malini and Priya and so Malini is like a princess I think of one of the kingdoms and then Priya is actually a maidservant but this also involves like some magical powers as well and also a sapphic romance which I'm so excited for and just the fact that it's like a South Asian fantasy as well is just super exciting and I've heard some really great things about this so far and it is going to be part of a series as well so I'm excited for that and I've been wanting to read Tasha Suri's books for ages now so I'm really excited to start with this one. Alrighty but those are all the books that I'm hoping to pick up for the end of 2021 for December. I'm so excited about all of these books and I would really love it actually if you guys would let me know what you thought of any of these books if you've read them before in the comments because I always love hearing what you guys have to say especially before diving into a book to like sort of curb my expectations as well but overall so excited for you know the end of the year for a new year but also just like some time off from work to get some reading done. Thank you guys so so much for watching I would love to hear what you are planning to read what are like the top three books that you're hoping to get to before the end of the year. I would love to hear. And once again, thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. If you guys use the link in my description and the code JOLLY, you can get your first Book of the Month box for only $5. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Definitely go check out my Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, and TikTok in the description down below. And I will see you in my next video. So please remember that this story ain't over. Bye!